Alright guys, welcome to the channel. This is Connery from Out of Work Outdoors. Today we're talking about the my essential tools that I feel that everybody needs to be packing in their tackle box. Whether you're a bank fisherman, kayak fisherman, or boat fisherman, you should have some form of this in your in your arsenal, in your backpack, okay? So let's start off with the cheap stuff and then we'll go in, into the more and more uh, expensive items. The cheap items, let's start with this. This is uh, electrical tape. There's like a million uses for electrical tape, okay? So even for the bank fisherman who has nothing to do with electricity or anything like that, uh, electrical tape will help you keep things together. So if, for example, I don't know, if you're trying to, um, you know, maybe, uh, maybe you, you have a, a tackle box where the hinges have uh, broken off or something like that, you know? Tape it together. See, that's a good use for that. If for all for everybody else on the boats, you have to have this. Uh, it is essential for any type of wiring. So this has got to have. I've used it more than once. That's why this is so small now. Uh, in terms of brands, I like the actual 3M Super. I think it's Super 88. It's the one that's. Uh, I think it's like three dollars for a roll. Yeah, it's three bucks. It's the best investment you'll ever have. After that, I got super glue. So there's uh, there's really one super glue brand that I really go to now, and it's Gorilla Glue. I really like the Gorilla Glue. Uh, I primarily like these two bottles. Okay, I don't like the other ones as much. I like this because you basically uh, open the cap, and then there's these two wings here. You just click on these two wings or press on them. Every time you press on it, a little bit of glue comes out. Okay, so it's not like you're pressing down on a container and the container is like a toothpaste bottle and you have to roll it up, nothing like that. So that's cool. I like that a lot. And for the guys that like a brush applicator, so say say you're like putting it on swim baits or something, you try to glue swim baits together, this is probably the best one because it's got a brush. Okay. Yeah, but the, whole, the thing is, it's kind of hard to find these in stores sometimes. Because there's so many different varieties of glue nowadays, you know. So, I found them on Amazon. I'll shoot you the link on Amazon uh, for everything here. So, in case you just, you're just kind of lazy and you're like, I just want it now. I'll just send it over. Amazon's place to go. Okay, so from there on out, I think everyone needs one of these two. And, you know, but uh, this is not cologne, okay. This is, well, you, might, you might attract Bigfoot with this, but... Uh, you know, well, maybe, or you might, or might, you might actually repel bears with this one. Actually, this is just bug spray. Okay, so when you buy bug spray, it doesn't matter what brand you buy it from. There's one key feature you need to keep in mind, and that key feature is the ingredients that that you're buying. The ingredients for mosquito repellent is DEET, D-E-T-T. -T. So when you pick up a bottle, you need to just take a quick look at it and say, hey, well, how much DEET is in there? Like by volume, right? By percentage. A lot of them, if you pay attention, it'll be 5%, 10%, 15%. I've seen them as high as 30%. And maybe once in a while you'll see like a 50. Well, guess what? Coleman has 100% DEET. It even says it right there. Coleman, 100 max. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's if you look at the ingredients, it says 98.1% right there. So this is the best one I found so far. And it comes in a really nice bottle. Okay, it's not a, it's not one of those giant bottles. Okay, it's a medium sized bottle. You can easily, you know, uh, throw this in the backpack, and it works great. Hundred percent DEET. Uh, if you go into areas where there, I've been in areas where I spray fifty percent DEET, and the mosquitoes are still hovering around you. You spray this. I've only had this for a couple months, but you know, you spray this hundred percent on, they disappear. So highly recommended. Hard to find sometimes, but it's available. Also available on Amazon too. But if you can't find, I'll have the links I can say down below. All right. So now we're gonna start getting into the more like expensive items. Uh, you can still find these items cheap, but these are the ones that I like. Everything here I found. This is what I like. Okay. And then um, this is a multi-tool. Okay. 
something everybody needs to have. Why multi-tool over a pair of pliers? Well, that's a good question. Uh, multi-tool because it is a pair of pliers, plus it's got a knife. Mm -hmm. Let's try to open up this knife here. There you go. A knife, serrated edges, and straight edge, you know, gutting fish, scraping fish, cutting braid. Primarily, it's going to be cutting braid. Um, yeah, primarily. And on the other side, you got a pair of scissors. So, for the guys that don't understand the importance of scissors, let me explain. When you're trying to cut uh, spinnerbait uh, trailers, anything like that, spinnerbait skirts, chatterbait skirts, that is better than a knife, okay? So, just put it that way. You want to do little jobs too. You feel like, for example, if you're trying to cut uh, knots off of hook eyes, that's the deal, right? Knots off of hook eyes. That's where you want the scissors. You know, you might have cut paper or something like that. It's the deal. But primarily, the reason why you want pliers is one, you got a hook in deep in the throat. You got to grab something to go and get it. Or two, you got a hook in yourself. You got to come through the skin with it. Okay, that's very important um, to have a pair of pliers. And this is the uh, Leatherman, uh, I forgot the Wingman. Yeah, Leatherman Wingman. It's one of the ones that I've had a lot of experience with. I have two of these, one in the kayak, one I carry in my backpack at all times. And I really like it just because of the knife and a big scissor. Uh, usually they don't, usually these things don't come with scissors, but I'm a big fan of the scissor. So that's why I have that. It's got a carry clip too, you know. I usually clip it to the outside of my backpack, but that's a that's a must-have. Of all these items, I think that if you were going to get one, that's the one you to have. Uh, okay, so we do a lot of fishing, and um, I would honestly say a lot of our fishing is done either early morning or into the night. So a lot of times you just need a flashlight. Okay, you need a good flashlight. Uh, you could buy yourself a $10 flashlight or a $20 flashlight, but in my experience, if you tend to buy cheap flashlights, they tend not to last as long. And on top of that, you don't keep good care of them. You don't keep track of them. So get step it up to the next level. Get something in the $60, $70 price range. This is one of the uh, flashlights we've had in the uh, project for a while. It's all aluminum. It's anodized. It's cool. It comes with rechargeable batteries. It's got two rechargeable batteries. It's got all these cool features about it. Click on top. And you can change modes. It's it's the deal. Just we got a review. We have, yeah we've already reviewed this one actually. Pick this one up. It's like seventy bucks, thousand lumens. You won't be disappointed. It's just the right size for everything. And last but not least, uh, a pair of sunglasses. This is a pair of Costas. It's old. It's about two years old. It used to be white. Now it's all like faded yellow. It's pretty nasty actually. But a uh, pair of sunglasses. Uh, if you're not comfortable buying an expensive pair like this one, I think I paid $130 for this, uh, get something to at least cover your eyes, okay? I say that because we fish in a world where there's a lot of flying objects, and flying objects can hit you in the eyeball sometimes. It's not good, okay? So that's primarily the main reason for it. The secondary reason is UV protection. Uh, we're always out there fishing. We, as fishermen, we are exposed to the most amount of UV because we're always out there. And not just that, we get a lot of reflection off of the uh, water also. So get yourself a good pair of UV uh, glasses, okay? There's always, uh, you know, you, you, you the price point starts about 10 bucks, and there's like a lot of them in the 40, 50, 60, 70 range, and then you're just talking like high end after that. So when I started, I had a pair of Berkeleys, they were like 10 bucks. They were basically looking through like a black piece of plastic. There was no, like, there wasn't any anything on it. <laughs> and then I stepped up to the, some Strike Kings, they had some polarization on them. But then the polarization wore off after a couple months, I don't even know how it's possible. And then my brothers and my cousins introduced me to the, the, the Oakleys, right? Oakley has, I think, one pair, 
or two pairs that are really designed for the fishermen and a lot of looks type stuff so Oakley is a decent one as long as you stick with the fishing line uh, but Costa the ones I have gone with they're really really well known in the fishing industry and I think that's where they're at you now the fishing world is really really where uh, I think a majority of the sunglasses that are sold uh, in terms of the fishing world people tend to call with Costas uh, because they have an entire lineup just for fishermen and they do special projects with fishermen and stuff like that so that's why I went with Costas uh, there's a They've got like eight different types of colorations, but if I had to pick one, I'd pick the copper. Uh, and I'd also, and, they, and once you have a color picked, you need to pick between plastic or glass. So some companies only do plastic, some companies only do glass. Costa does both. And there's a big price difference too. Polycarbonate is plastic. Uh, those would come in around 150 on sale, maybe 110 bucks. And then anything glass related is going to be above 200 okay? But the difference between glass and plastic is if you're sight fishing, it's a big deal. If you're not, not a big deal. So just put it that way, okay? So glasses, last thing on my list. I uh, just got to have it. It's just one of those things, you know, it's eye protection and it helps you catch more fish. It literally does. So anyhow, let me know if I missed anything. Uh, add your top five. Add your five essentials in the comments. So that, that way everybody reading the comments can benefit from it. I know I've left out a lot just because it can't go on forever. So anyways, uh, so like and subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification. We've got a lot more of these videos coming down the pipe. A lot more adventure stuff, a lot more cooking videos as requested by some of you guys already. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. All right, Connery from Out of Work. See you next time. Hey everybody, thanks for watching, but stop freeloading. We need you guys to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the bell. And be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And we'll see you guys on the next one.